Hi, this is Keith Young. In uh, this tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to create some effects with shape layers that are live. I'm going to show you how to create things like uh, feathering and blur effects uh, that you can then go back and edit at a later time without actually rasterizing the shape layer. So uh, let's get to it. First of all, I've, I have already opened and created a shape layer. Uh, in the form of a star we have our little shape layer over here and what I'm going to do <coughs> is go to the filter menu and choose convert for smart filters and what's that what that's going to do is bring up this dialog box and it's going to say to enable re-editable smart filters the selected layer will be converted into a smart object so we're going to go ahead and click OK now our shape layer has been converted to a smart layer or smart object layer. Now let me show you how this works. Let's go to the filter menu and choose blur. We'll go down to uh, Gaussian blur and you can see here that now I have a nice feathered edge going here. I can set this to anything I want to as far as the radius to kind of feather the edge. Okay now that works just like a regular blur inside of Photoshop the great thing about that is I can go back in and edit this shape if I want to I haven't actually rasterized this layer so if I want to edit this shape what I'll do is go over to the layer and double click on it now I get a dialog box that lets me know that after I edit the contents I just choose file and save to commit the changes and then the changes will be reflected upon this layer so I click OK now what happens is Photoshop opens up the original vector image that I created. So I can go in with Photoshop's vector tools or vector editing tools and edit my shape. I can do anything I want to them and then when I'm done I can just go ahead and close this. When it asks me to save I'll click yes. And now you can see that that shape has edited itself uh, inside of Photoshop with the effect still intact so I can still go back in and edit my base shape and do anything I want with it the other great thing about using this method for adding filters is that you can also go back in by just double clicking on this smart filter layer I can go back in and edit the the filter so I can change my blurring in effect by doing this okay so you see I can change the feathering on this shape I can also change the actual shape itself by simply double clicking on my shape layer so uh, I hope this has been helpful and uh, that you understand uh, how you can edit shape layers and smart filters a little bit better not only is this good for Gaussian blurs but you can do any filter you can add this effect to any by using any one of these filters in the filter menu okay